if any person wants to make changes to their life in terms of health and defeat a chronic disease that has been lingering on from years he has to change his mentality he has to change his thought process so today in this video we are going to be talking about thinking and thought process of a cardiovascular disease patient stay tuned and let's get started everybody this is your nutritionist on the go Kabul Deep Singh Ojla from Erudite Nutrition and after talking a lot about cardiovascular diseases and foods and habits now let's talk about the thought process the mentality the thinking of a person that is suffering from a cardiovascular disease now before I start this video I want you guys to understand before I started posting content on my YouTube channel I started with a whole playlist of videos which describe the disease of diabetes, the effects of different food groups and food items in terms of your blood glucose level. Now the reason I made that diabetes playlist for diabetic people and others is very clear. Excess consumption of sugars and refined carbohydrates or a surplus intake of calories in any form is going to spike your blood glucose levels. In a direct relation, it is going to massively affect the diabetic people. But I have recommended those videos to people that are suffering from heart disease, from hypertension, from diabetes and pre-diabetes, from obesity and overweight, and to people with fatty liver. Why? Because excess consumption of calories, refined sugars, refined processed fructose and high fructose corn syrup and other, uh, other things that include these kind of items and a surplus of calorie intake. This is the root cause of these five diseases hypertension cardiovascular diseases diabetes or pre-diabetes being overweight or having a fatty liver so if you have not yet watched the playlist on diabetes please do watch that playlist on diabetes because that playlist is directly in link with this video now for people that are suffering from heart disease it simply doesn't make a difference if you have diabetes or you don't have diabetes. We all know that having diabetes will increase the risk of having a heart attack by up to five times. But why is that so? We will be discussing that in this video. So the effects of excess sugars or you can say the excess calories, okay, either they are coming from processed refined oils or in other form also. So I have mainly pointed out the sugars over here, but surplus calories in any form can be dangerous for you. So especially the sugar ones, okay? So how it's going to affect a heart patient. So uh, imagine you have a heart disease, a ischemic heart disease or a coronary heart disease or plucking in your arteries, which narrows the actual lumen, okay, this inner surface area of your vessels, it gets constricted due to plucking, or you have a clot, a pericardial mass in your arteries, okay, so all these factors are dependent upon your lifestyle and why I recommend cardiac patients to follow the protocol of a diabetic patient. So let's see over here. This is for people that are suffering from diabetics. If they consume excess sugars, their blood glucose will rise, their blood sugar levels will rise, which will harm them. Number two, their blood lipids are going to get up. They are going to have a raised lipid levels. That is also not good for us, okay? Triglycerides, cholesterol, and VLDLs. The next is inflammation. Refined sugar causes inflammation, which is the root cause of chronic arteriosclerosis plucking, okay? And it decreases the arterial function. What is the arterial function? Arterial function is normal functioning of your artery vessels. 
it decreases their function otherwise your arteries are capable enough they are given all the tools by our body naturally to protect itself from any damage but consumption of refined sugars and excess sugars decrease your arterial function also and at the last it's obesity so these are the problems which are commonly faced by diabetic patients now how they are going to translate in a heart patient so let's see excess consumption of sugars raise the blood sugar levels of a diabetic but does not have any effect on a non-diabetic heart patient because he does not have insulin resistance he does not have type 2 or type 1 diabetes so the blood sugar levels are gonna remain the same so there is no harm to the random blood glucose levels but the lipids are going to increase okay there will be a increase in your blood lipids in your triglycerides in your cholesterol in your VLDL and your LDL this hyperlipidemia is going to cause the speed up in the process of artery plucking or coronary artery disease so next is inflammation inflammation is the base of heart disease we have discussed this in the previous videos you can go back on that playlist and watch those videos to know more so increased sugar consumption is going to increase inflammation in both the diabetics and cardiac patients so cardiac patients we have to lower our inflammation so we have to avoid sugars so next is decrease in the arterial function of a diabetic person maybe this is the reason that having diabetes increases your coronary artery disease risk by four to five times because the artery function is being suppressed by elevated blood glucose levels or excess sugar consumption so it is also going to speed up your coronary artery disease your artery plucking and in turn reduce the blood supply to your heart muscles which can lead to heart attacks and last obesity obesity is a killer and it is going to kill everybody not just heart patients not just diabetic patients obesity can cause mortality in many ways okay so someone that is suffering from a heart disease has to follow the mentality has to follow the thought process have to make up their mind to avoid sugars forever it doesn't matter if he is a diabetic and a heart patient it doesn't matter if he is only a heart patient and does not have uh, diabetes issues but if you are a heart patient you have to follow the protocol of a diabetic you have to stay away from all sugars and this is pretty much the reason behind that so guys i hope you like this video and stay tuned for the next video because in the next video we are going to be discussing about the progress of arteriosclerosis that is coronary artery disease that is plucking and blocking of the blood vessels which restrict the blood flow to heart muscles that can cause heart attack so in the next video we will discuss about atherosclerosis and if you are liking the content on this channel do share it with your near dear ones you guys can go on to my channel on my facebook on my instagram or on my youtube channel you can search for the playlist called diabetes and food group it's available in english as well in, in punjabi you guys can watch those 11 videos of a little more than two hours to get a better understanding of how blood glucose levels are affected by food and then you can correlate that knowledge with the knowledge in this cardiovascular disease playlist okay so the more knowledgeful you are you can control your conditions better so i'll see you guys next time until then you guys take care